Okay, welcome back everyone to another Grand Cross video, and I didn't think I was gonna be uploading today. Sunday is a kind of a diff, a, kind of a dry day, but I think it's worth doing. And I haven't really done one of these videos before. It's basically a guide video or a gear guide um, for Eskimo, the main man here, the the the, the bartender, everyone's favorite character in the game, and uh, he is getting UR gear. It's not been confirmed, but it essentially has been confirmed. Uh, every every now and again, um, whenever they have characters now in the game. They do actually add their UR gear when they get added to the game. And considering we are going to get a Red Escanor this week on a, on a, the 7th to Tuesday, it makes sense for them to add UR gear for Escanor. I, I doubt they'll do that. And uh, when that does come to the game, Escanor's like, it's, he's already so sick. Uh, it's going to jump up again, like get up to like so much high CC and I'm ready for it. I just spent around 85. Uh, I guess that's how much it costs to do... Um, 85 was it uh, the awakening stones the five star ones to get him to uh, get all his gear up kind of dead rolls not gonna lie we'll talk show later on but firstly what I do need to do is prepare myself for the UR gear because you do need around six of the six star ones so right now we have 33 left over which I don't think will get me enough but um, I, I obviously I will do a little bit a little bit of farming today if you don't know it's currently half stamina on books right now so we are grinding of course I did have around 35 million and it took me like 30 million or like what 20 mil 10 mil 20 15 12 -ish odd mil to get my escono gear up to uh, pretty much a good st a part uh we did run out of gems but we'll pretty much talk about it later on uh, anyway firstly so the question is i mean you probably know you probably already have your gear for escono but let's say you don't and someone's new to the game and pretty much want to go a certain route because there's three routes you can go towards there's pretty much the standard hp and defense or was it hp and Attack, yeah, okay, no, attack and defense, that's pretty much what we're done with. Or you can go HP defense, which is definitely another route. Uh, this here, here is my actual gear, so you can see a lot of pierce rate, but I am going to change that to attack, just for this set, because uh, that's pretty much what I want to do. And uh, we are going to obviously get 5-5 five, five for everything, but that's uh, when I do farm a bunch of the events. So this one here is my pierce rate gear, so this is obviously Mediodas, and if we do put an Escanor, we can actually see our CC standing. So it's around 38k. Bear in mind, when you actually do your uh, pierce rate, it doesn't affect your CC. And it's quite important if you're trying to start first in PvP. Otherwise, it's, yeah, it's quite bad. And uh, this one here should be my attack. So this is my Merlin attack one, which has pretty good rolls. You can see it does go up to 40k. And uh, yeah, honestly, this is probably where you want to go towards. HP defense, attack. But we will talk about and do like a little showcase of... Uh, Pretty much what you can do and if i go towards my hp set this is another option if you do want to get the most cc because i do believe hp and defense does give the most cc and uh yeah so i'm 90k i think that's the highest i have for Esnor. and i don't even have the two on the right being ssr so definitely if you do want to go towards hp uh defense it's not the worst thing i wouldn't recommend it but i know there are people out there that do do that especially because um I mean, Escon is always going to kill anyone anyway, especially if it's 6-6. So if you do actually want to go towards HP and defense, you could very well do that. But uh, for me, uh, I want this guy to do as much damage as I can. And um, HP defense ain't going to really work. So here is its pierce rate. You can see what it does when it does uh, when you do add pierce rate on it. And, you know, 142 pierce rate is, is quite high. But to be fair, Escon's pierce rate itself is already like 90%. So do you need the extra pierce rate? Not really. Um, he doesn't actually have the card. Like, one of his cards ain't uh, do, like, triple pierce rate damage or, like, how many Otis is and how's are. So, he doesn't really necessarily need the pierce rate. But he doesn't also... Yeah, he also doesn't, you know, lose out damage, I guess. You could... If you have a pierce rate set, it's not the worst thing to go for. But I would definitely recommend um, doing what I do, which is basically HP defense. So this is the set I have right now, which, um, to be fair, the pierce rate is a little bit higher because I do have a bunch of pierce rate on it. But when I do get some good more, uh, good rolls on my, uh, my gear, then it'll be a lot better. But yeah, definitely this is where you want to go towards HP. So I guess HP at the bottom, oh, sorry, not HP, defense at the bottom, and then attack at the top, that being one, two, three, four, I guess. And then the five and six, if you're going, like, downwards, um, being defense. And the reason why is because, yeah, Escanor, does do a ton of damage and if you're gonna get the ur gear on it it's gonna do even more damage and that's pretty much what you want from this guy all he's doing is pumping out damage and the thing is if you are still using lilia 
he is also going to get the pierce rate effect from uh, Lilia, since obviously Lilia is sharing her pierce rate with everyone else. So then again, he's already going to have a high pierce rate anyway. So does he? Do you need the actual uh, pierce rate? We'll pretty much go and check that. So we're going to test out his uh, stuff right now. So I believe this is the pierce rate set, and uh, when we do get in, we're going to do the one of his gold cards, and then we we'll just use ultimate, and uh, hopefully not hit any crits because then it's a bit different then. Okay, so we're in game now, and one thing to know is I believe Red Esk on Elegant, elegant Blow does, yeah, so 500% uh, off attack. So it is going off your attack skill. So if you have pierce rate, um, you're going to be losing that on your attack because obviously it's not going to increase. So you can see around like 100k damage right there on uh, just pierce rate. So we do go change our equipment. Uh, let's go. Okay, so let's uh, change our gear to. Let's do attack. Let's do attack. So which one's this? Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, yeah, the attack one is the gear we want to use. So this is my Merlin one, but we are going to be using it for Escanor right now. Which is just because he has the highest set right now for um, what the, the highest attack I have. And, uh, you know, I might have to switch uh, over. I can probably... I'll probably you are that, that two gear then. And just give it the rest to Merlin. We'll see what it does. Okay, so Elegant Blow did around like 50k last time. Oh, was 60. Yeah, so you can see right there. Okay, that was a crit to be fair. Okay, Elegant Blow does 59k. So yeah, definitely more damage there uh, from Pierce Rate. And it ultimately did around 107k. Okay, that was a crit. I don't count. Okay, and it does... Okay, 126. Yes, yeah, so 20k extra damage there. Like, that's that's big. We did like 107 right before. And I was like, yeah, like 20k extra damage just from the attack. So right there, it, it shows you shouldn't really go pierce rate for Escanor. And, uh, but bear in mind, you, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely don't go towards pierce rate. You could, but you might have to go towards the attack since it will also affect the combat class. But uh, speaking of which, we are going to go towards... We might as well use the Lilia one, right? Because he's not going to get the UR effect, but he, he can still use it. Okay, no, he's going to have to lower CC. Okay, let's change it. Okay, so yeah, 49. Yeah, so this is the highest CC I can have in Eskinal, right? And you get that from HP and defense. And uh, it's a, definitely a route you could go towards. It's kind of 50-50. But uh, for me, at least, I want to pump, pump out damage rather than go for CC. Uh, maybe at the high ranks, you might want to go towards HP and defense because you want to start first. So elegant blow, 70, like that was a crit. Yeah, 45k, yeah, not even close. But uh, ultimate did 105 and then 126. 93k, so mm, maybe um, you're losing out quite a lot of attack there just from HP and defense. But bear in mind, you are going to get higher, higher CC since it's just, I think, I believe if you were to go every route, uh, HP defense, you're going to get the most CC in the game. And um, Eskinor will survive longer, so maybe he can do more damage in return. But uh, for me, I've already made my gear pretty much, so you kind of already know the route I'm going towards, which is this gear here. Um, attack. Bear in mind, it does have pierce rate, but uh, I am going to change that, of course. So hope. Okay, actually, I have some anvils. I can change it now. I've already done my guild, but my guild boss stuff, but I literally I can't. The rolls have been so trash. Oh, we got attack. Oh, okay, that was a nasty roll. All right, nice. So yeah, that's pretty much what you want to do is just go towards attack. And uh, I did spend around 30 diamonds today, which kind of sucks. Uh, Rerolling my gear, um, like the actual main stat of it. And uh, yeah, pierce rate is still super high, so Eskinor doesn't really need it. But then again, he also is also going to get buffed from the Lilia, if you are using Lilia with him. And uh, overall, definitely, uh, if you'd ask me, what would you go towards? What gear would you give uh, Eskinor? I would definitely say uh, go attack or defense. Because um, you're going to get the main stat high as well. Uh, pierce rate doesn't really need to be affected. And uh, one of his skills do affect his, it does affect his attack. So, yep, overall, just go towards attack and defense. And, and on Tuesday, when he does get UR gear, make sure you're ready with uh, six. Six of the six star awakening stones. And also uh, 60 of the gems you get from the training cave. And then also plus five of your gear so you can get this guy max. It's going to be nasty. When this guy gets gear, it's going to be nasty. I'm, oh, bro, it's going to be insane. So, Tuesday is going to be a wild one. Uh, maybe we do a video of all UR gear. We'll see how it goes. And, yeah, just bear in mind, this is the last day. I'm pretty sure it does end tonight. Uh, definitely do start farming books. Uh, I will be doing it after this. And it's why I'm making it kind of a short video. Just because I don't want to take time up uh, farming books. And, yeah, I guess that's about it. Just uh, farm books. It's going to come in literally next Tuesday with his UR gear. It's going to be insane. Final boss Merlin as well, so it's going to be fun to do. Uh, definitely stay tuned. If you're new, definitely subscribe. We're doing Grand Cross content daily. And uh, this video is probably going to go quite late. Uh, but yeah, it should be alright. So thank you guys for watching and peace.